This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Tell that fuck Morello to die painful. From me. Leave it with me, V. I don't know how long theater plays I go will. on for, but... Hey. Getting late. A lot of good people lost in this war. Don't turn into one of them, man. We don't got all night. Let's go. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, his guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You'd think that white suit would make him an easier target. I see him! Let him have it! by Morello. Tomorrow, they're ours. Morello must have been plenty nervous. His guys are out in force. Take him out of the can, but Morello's the prize tonight. Fellas, we're taking this city over! If we lose him, we'll go to ground for months. More, maybe. Don't let him give us a slip. He could be headed anywhere. If we don't catch him and plug him, he might even move out of state for a while. We need to whack him tonight. Squeeze! 
Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. Us going bumper to bumper with him? Well, wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good! We need to clean house! He's gotta die? This guy's gotta die! Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. Muscle waiting. I see him. Oh, shit! God damn it! Everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, just a bit of glass in my hair. Not that a cheap comb can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on!
front. You're the best shot out of all of us. Get in the damn car! Get us into the air! We don't have the speed! Staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look kind of aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell yeah, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah, it's going. Sure, he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. It don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. 
my family for the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Not already soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner. He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mine to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, 
We gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. If everything you say is true, we'll have a deal. Once the Don has approved. Oh, it is. It's good stuff. Our customers expect only the best. We run this city, and to make sure it stays that way, the best is what they get. You should have seen the place last night. Heaven. You had a cooler with your name on it when you're done for the day. Hey, Tom, you're missing this idiot being partway through one of his bullshit stories. Since when have I told you bullshit stories? Like the one about the Goomba who shot himself in the face? Hey, No Nose was a hell of a guy. You'd have liked him. Not to look at, but he had a sense of humor. Of course, he needed one looking the way he did. Poor bastard. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Politicians come at us, we come back at them hard. That's how Lost Heaven's gonna learn. Good luck with who's ever the doorstep you're gonna piss on today, Tom. <laughs> I got my mom. 
for more motors now than I know what to do with. The Baba said I should get a proper place of my own, but I fix the cars when I can't sleep, so... Behringer's department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. Only problem? one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Griff stepping back on the field in our time of need. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Turnbull, leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. Well, I hope this afternoon finds you well. You're listening to WBDS. The best meals come from the best ingredients, and there's nowhere with a better selection of groceries than Behringer's Market Square. Visit us next time you're downtown. The modern woman knows the importance of staying trim, fit, and vigorous. At Behringer's Sporting Goods, we carry everything you need to pursue a healthy body and mind. Remember, a regular exercise program will have you looking great and feeling fantastic. Visit Behringer's Sporting Goods today. Hey, fella. Come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey! You down there! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! Someone's coming through. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. I'm warning you, mister! Tight, not getting in. Someone's coming true.
the guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. there'd be more of you to evict us. been out.
that came from up here!
Called off, abandon search and return to patrols. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. 
We're stealing diamonds from the feds. Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We got to play this one cool. So we're going to steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. And kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the Don? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know? Wake up. We're here.
Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down, or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. Hey, you got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, <laughs> you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? There you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. Might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. time do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. They're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemian. Shipped off on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Find us when you're done. Boy, 
Fancy got guys working over that tonight. This'll help. Come on, fellas. Let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Money's good, but boy, these fates are assholes. Must have been through a hundred maxes already. Fuck me. Fucking tired of this one. This is goddamn it. <laughs> Interesting. None of this is any use.
crap. Place is huge. Okay, boys, check each crate, then we start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Then lucky you, having all night to search them. No cigars, no diamonds. Turning up squat. Gotta be finding it soon.
getting in here. Here either. Ah, jeez, give me a break. Found them. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom. Got it. Let's go! Let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? Through the gate! Hey. Oh. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time. Oh, next time what? We run it all through you? The scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds, the boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight.
Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit, though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. Ah, it don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, his own. All right. Oh, doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Oh, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Smack, we would have died in prison. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Near North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. But if six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. 
one I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though? I know, it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting till things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. So you tell her sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing this. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight. Right? No heroes. Not today. No kids around. You all got that? With me. Down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. This make you feel big? Beating on a little guy? What are it's you doing? making me feel rich. And the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. How many guards at the vault? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep moving. You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school? You, you keep your hands you. where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. Remember. When we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your... Oh, shoot. shoot him! Got him! Shit, shit, shit! Keys on the 
table. No one else has to die. I don't have to die! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wake him on it! Damn it. The cops are here! Let's go! Get the money, it's time to go! A Palermo club. Sam's club. Hey, it's empty right now. What he don't know can't hurt him. We're almost there, Tom. We've almost done it. It's still almost, Polly. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. Go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> Well, look at this. 
Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep is all. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? We're just feeling lucky is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Probably you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's, just in case it's him that got you all wound up. Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. solid leads in the case of the audacious bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperial, as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery, in which armed thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of dead, was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence, and although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. If he's unable to secure justice for those slain that day, and due to the violence meted out, it must only be a matter of time before the G-men take over. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest musical numbers. neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Hey, hey, you heard a ruckus last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Polly!
Polly. Polly. Sam, it's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll uh, see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Bali. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. <laughs> the latest political developments in Europe. With the annexation of Austria, and with many predicting that Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland will be next, Adolf Hitler has shown Europe that he is now calling the shots. Despite the restrictions placed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, neither France nor Great Britain have done much to stand in Hitler's way up to this point. It had been hoped that the policy of appeasement toward his territorial ambitions would create a more prolonged peace in Europe, but it seems increasingly likely that this course of action will result in new conflict. Should Europe once again descend into the chaos of war, what stance should the United States take? Many would still say European problems are European problems. But the deteriorating situation and the worrying possible outcomes for the world now seem difficult for us to ignore. Isolation versus intervention, that is the choice facing America. Which we will decide will be known in time. Thank you for listening. And now, back to my colleagues who, no doubt, have some music on the cards. Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. 
This is what you were looking for, Apollis. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy.
Sam. I know you're doing the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. This is getting serious, boys. Take him out. Guys, yet! Celieri was ripping us off! about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle put them down boys Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. 
<clears throat> I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. What <laughs> the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crow. And his family? Can you? you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, or Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. With this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gotta eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough.
long time ago. In another life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel. His greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone. Trying to find myself. So I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older, and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness. But it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. <laughs>